Hi, this is Tim from EverythingEtsy.com. Um, I just wanted to make a new video on how to create an Etsy Mini. This is something that we did a long time ago, uh, May uh, 9th of 2009, according to the uh, the date on the blog post. But as I was uh, reviewing some old blog posts today and looking for problems on the site, I found uh, that there was a missing video. Um, we had used a service that apparently just uh, up and disappeared on us, and uh, we didn't know it. So that's how that's how you get uh, with free services sometimes. You know, they're free, so you get what you pay for. Um, it was great while it lasted, but uh, it didn't last forever. Um, so anyway, uh, what has lasted longer than that is the value of an Etsy Mini. Uh, if you put an Etsy Mini on your website, on your blog, um, you know, uh, it's just a good thing. It points people towards your Etsy shop, and you can do uh, do quite a few things with it. Um, you can put it in your sidebar. Um, you can make a whole page on your, uh, on your website or blog that uh, is nothing but a big Etsy Mini. Um, and, you know, use it as kind of like a shop on your site. So there's a lot you can do um, with them. They're quick and easy to do, really helpful. And, um, you know, I think that uh, if you're, you know, really uh, getting started selling on Etsy and you've got a website, you know, you need to fill the sidebars up. We don't, the only reason we don't have one on everything Etsy is because our sidebars get pretty long sometimes with all the stuff we've got going on and, and we don't want to add to it. Um, but the uh, with a new website, you know, the issue is what am I going to put here? And an Etsy Mini is a great thing to put there. So the uh, it, it's really pretty simple. Uh, the first step is to, uh, well, the very first step is to decide where you're going to put it. So you look at your website and think, okay, you know, I want this thing right here in my sidebar or whatever, or I'm going to make a page and I'm going to put it there. You decide where you're going to put it because the reason you do that is you want to know approximately how big it can be. Um, so once you've decided where you're going to put it, and just for demonstration's sake, I think I'm going to put it on my remodeling guy site which uh, has two sidebars um, and um, you know I'll put it in one of those so on remodeling guy I've got sidebar one and sidebar two and they're both kind of narrow so you know we won't be able to go with a really big Etsy mini there but for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna decide to put it like at the bottom of sidebar one so it's gonna be over here down here before this section which is actually underneath the two sidebars which is a little bit more of an advanced blog design thing so um, let's just go to Etsy and the side of your Etsy shop. If you're back in your, your uh, shop dashboard or control panel, you go down um, and you'll see and promote, you'll see Etsy Mini. And then, you, you, you know, that brings up this section here, build your own Etsy Mini. And, you know, if you're trying to sell some items, you put items from your shop. If you want to promote other people or items from your favorites, you can do that as well. Um, so items from my shop and you say you know show uh, my featured items first that way the things you've decided are important enough to show at the top of your uh, Etsy shop they'll show up also in your mini um, and then you decide you know how big you want it you want to use larger pictures or smaller pictures and you know how many columns and rows so in this particular case we're going to do just uh, one column and um, you know we'll do it let's maybe one taller the maximum you can do is five so we'll do five um, Maybe I'll do just four in this case because we've got four tote bags and then a piece of felt that looks kind of funny. So the um, so that's it. So once I've decided what shape it's going to be and I like the look of it, I, I think that'll fit where I want to put it. You grab the code that's automatically generated right here. You just highlight it, copy it, and then go where you want to put it and you put it in there. So now to get that on a WordPress blog, you go to your dashboard. You go down to uh, Appearance and Widgets. And, uh, and then you find sidebar one, which is here, and you add a text widget to the bottom of it by dragging it here. Now, sometimes you might have to you might have to actually expand the sidebar, you know, so, um, and you put the text widget in the bottom, you right-click and paste, and that code is there now. That's, that's actually it. You just save it, and you're done. The, uh, so if we go back to the site and take a look at it, we'll see what's happening. Scroll down a little bit here. So there it is. Now, if you got a situation like this and, and it's kind of off to the side a little bit, you don't have enough room to, to put a, a double, so if it's off to the side, you maybe it would look better. Um, I mentioned this in the little blog post that's there on Everything Etsy. Um, you can go back there to that same widget and center it using uh, HTML center tags. So you center, just put it in little brackets like that, center at the beginning, and then slash center at the end 
and that's going to center it. Save it again. Go back to the site. And now it's centered. So that looks good, and people can click on that, and they'll go straight to your Etsy shop, uh, straight to the particular item that they've clicked on, in fact, and they're going to buy it. That's what you want. They're going to go to your Etsy shop. They're going to buy it. You're going to make some money. You're going to make some cool stuff, you know, or sell some cool vintage thing that you found, and that's what you want. So, um, you know, that's not uh, that's not all. Let's say I, um, you know, that I, I want to make a whole page and put my Etsy mini on it. So, um, so I go to my dashboard. Actually, in in the newer versions of WordPress, you can just go to new page, and you call the page my Etsy shop, and um, and then go to the HTML editor. So right here is where you switch between HTML and Visual. So Visual is like a regular like word processor type editor. HTML is, you know, you're using, you have to use HTML code, um, which is what Etsy gives you the mini in. They actually give you a, a script, a JavaScript, but um, it's HTML. So the, um, so let's make it bigger. We've got a whole page to work with now. So we're going to go like, you know, four columns, four rows. That looks good. I think that'll fit on a page actually if I yeah if I leave my sidebars on the page that won't fit but I'm going to take the sidebars away so now we got this big old thing copy it we go to the new page over here all you have to do is paste it in there and now I'm going to have to um, make some changes so that I don't have my sidebar showing up and I haven't done that in a while on here how do I do that on this particular one if you're using like uh, studio presses uh, Genesis theme there's a place down at the very bottom where it's got like pictures of you know different layouts that you can choose one um, let's see here it is on mine um, no sidebars so you know you pick a no sidebar or you know you make that too many smaller so it'll fit with the sidebars and hit publish take a look at the page and there you go looks like I could almost fit one more picture row there so you could always go back and change it so now I've got this big page it's got all these Etsy items on on my blog so you can do that too you can have a little one in your sidebar a big one on a page you can put it on any other website if you want to pay somebody to put it on their website as an advertisement um, you know if you've got friends or family they can take the little Etsy mini um, and put it on their website you can have more than one so I've got this big one but I've still got this other one on the home page or on all the pages with sidebars so see, they're all still there. So that's the cool thing about Etsy Minis. If you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to ask them in the comments on this old post. We'll still get them. I think maybe you can't comment on that old post actually because of spam. We close comments on posts over a certain age. Can you leave a comment? I think you maybe still can. I don't know if we do that on everything Etsy. I don't think we do. So anyway, if not, leave a comment on a new post and just say, hey, I want to know this or that or the other about how to do this, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks. Have a great day.